Hello and welcome to another FS19 mod review. <clears throat> so this time we are looking at a Horsch Pronto 9DC. So nothing too different to see with this to start with. Except we now have dynamic hoses on here. We also now have colour selectable wheel rims and the colour of the drill itself is selectable. Along with, if I can actually get up there, probably not. The hopper lid, as you can see, is now beige up there. Plus, look at the tramline markers. This drill has a tram lining fitted, and the tram line or pre emergence markers on the back here actually work on this one. So, I want to take a look at it. So, we're going to take this in the field and just try this out. Hoping I put GPS on this tractor when I just leased it. So we can see up the top there, no uh, problems at all. Got beige up there, several different shades of beige in the uh, shop, which I'll show you. But uh, control and Y raises and lowers the pre emergence markers. They've also lowered the horsepower of this drill, so it now only needs 180 horsepower, but I've still put 280 on here. We know how steep some of the fields are in Felsburn and what they like to pull the drills up. So light wise, they're working, work lights are working on the back there. And indicators all working on the drill. So we'll get the drill folded up. We'll take it over to the field. drilling in. Enough to get some 36 metre tram lines put in as the plan. So what we'll do, set the dude room to put it on, auto width, no offset, snap drain on for this one so I want it to follow the grid pattern so point A there, turn the drill on because we're going to have to over drill some to start with to get to 36 Some of this field will not fertilise. Solely down to the fact it's had so much slurry and everything else put on in various mod tests that there is nothing left to uh, <coughs> absorb into the soil there, fertiliser wise now. So everything seems to be working on the drill, which is good. Should really, should really be any problems with it if you think about it because it's just a mod of the in game one. As we know, stranger things have happened in FS19. take us up to the 18 into the middle of the drill. You can see where the tram line was before on there, where we tried another drill out in the past. 
So this time is where the tram line goes. So control and Y. Markers go down. And this is the bit I want to see. Let's see how it looks. So that slowed the track down a bit. That's really slowed the track down. So putting our uh, pre-M markers down has added some serious horsepower requirement to this tractor. Wasn't expecting that to happen. Glad we didn't get the 180 horsepower tractor. actually done is lifting the back wheels off the drill. So we're still drilling but uh, that's something not been set up right there. The drill mines look good behind us though. I'm trying to remember the uh, functions here. Let's have a look at what we got. Let's just get the help menu up there. That's um Taken a serious amount of horsepower. Well, then down. A lot more than I was expecting. Just not expecting that to slow down like that. in. Let's try to put the uh, diff locks in. So I'll do one more tram line and just see what happens there. Because that was surprising. do is fast forward time a bit afterwards just to get the crop to come up. It's pulling it fine without those tramline markers in. Something's not quite been set up right here. Those back wheels. Time down is a tram line. I 
just be the feel train causing those wheels to keep lifting off the ground. Let's we'll see. Alright, tram line run again. This time we've got diff lock in. Something needs adjusting in the XMLs there, personally. It works fine, but uh, as you can see, we need a lot bigger tractor than we've got on here to pull up. So there's been a power requirement, and what just needs. A small tweak by the looks of that. That'd be my guess anyway. Power requirement actually needs removing from those discs. Just imagine it'd be quite a simple fix to put that right. Those two discs have been given the same horsepower as the drill. It needs the same horsepower as the drill so that won't actually hardly pull up with 280 horsepower. Which is unfortunate. This, this is such a simple mod, it just fits perfectly to what we want it to do. so we can get it evened out a bit, we'll have to drag the bile with us. It's a shame the drill hasn't got a half width shut off. It's akin to proceed from 17. The discs still have a rotation as well when they're lifted up without actually doing anything. It's workable, but uh, just a small issue there, really. Right, let's just go into here. I've gone to the wrong one first, as per normal. So now we've got to wait while my game freezes to get into the right one. Can't quite get to the bottom of what's causing this still. And we'll have a look at it in the shop as soon as we've got plant growth turned up. Because it is not a bad mod at the end of the day. Turn up to 120. Plant growth is on fast, so that should come up. Right, as for the drill itself, that is here 71,240 compared with 104,000 for the in game one, so I've turned the price down as well. What we've got is a choice of main colour. You can have any colour you like. So 
so you'd have it color coordinated with the tractor if you so wished same as the rim colors put them any color you like as well so not a bad option then the same with the lid we can go any color we like in the top there it's a few different horse pages in there as we can see well, they look very similar to me so horse logo we've got agri service logo plus looks like a horse one on the back there as well none and back to horse so there's a few options there but you see it says 180 horsepower well 180 might be okay without them down but there's certainly something bit off with them at the moment unfortunately so we'll just uh, turn the time back down and have a look at the tram lines see what we've got the tram lines themselves are looking very good on here On in well, we've got three rows between, which looks good. So, no complaints with the actual drill itself, how it performs, and everything. It's literally just the uh, markers need a little attention in the XMLs. But there we are, that is our Horsch Pronto 9DC. So, for now, I'm going to say thank you for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it, and we'll see you again in the next one. Goodbye for now.